If you don't know, the world is changing. This fall, the world's gonna change in a big way. Are you ready? Can you take advantage of the karmic winds? For many, this is your rise into your destiny. I've created a one-time lecture series, at least that's all I plan for now, called Lightcast Bootcamp. Come check it out. Are you ready to get into soul shape at lightcastbootcamp.com? Hello, Ambassador Gemini, and welcome to Tuesday. Namaste. Sunny and cool today for the twin processors of the zodiac. The moon is in your sign. This makes you very expressive, especially with emotion, and also makes you really good to deal with other people who are emotional. And if you haven't noticed, the universe always sends emotional people to Gemini's way because you are the messengers, you are the translators, and often you are asked to translate emotion, which is not logical, which is not dual processor, is a feeling-based state of awareness. So today you might get called in the soul for service to help someone do just that. And we're in chapter one of Sun and Leo. Thinking of thinking, it's all about your thinking. We are all about the love. It is Love Fest month here at SoulGarden.tv, the whole month where we love to love ourselves and everyone else. And that means you are stepping into the love when it comes to a free mind. Geminis must have a free mind. If their mind is not free, if it's not free, they can't channel the love. That blocks it. Their mind can block them. Now, you're the one that ties up your mind, not anyone else. And you're the one that will tie up your mind and ignore love quite often. In fact, most of the time, what's supposed to end a bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. You know the whole Gemini grass is greener syndrome? Okay? And this is something you're going to get in Lightcast Boot Camp. This thing I'm doing on Sunday, by the way, this is the kind of information you get. This extra rich stuff you don't normally get. But the reason why, why does a Gemini get stuck in the grass is greener syndrome? Because the deciding vote is supposed to be what you love. That's Leo. Your mind is supposed to be driven only by love. Because that's where you are powerful. And you are the messengers of God Universe. And God Universe is love. And he or she wants you to talk about love and think about love. So we're going to look at where's the love? Are your thoughts loving? Are your thoughts non-loving? Are you feeling the love? Because that is the beta test of today. And with the sun trining Uranus retrograde in Aries. What it says to the Geminis, in essence, is forget who you are in the world. Forget what your friends say. Forget what you think it should be out there. Are you mental state in love? And I mentioned it before, Lightcast Boot Camp. This is a very unique situation. We're selling tickets right now, only through the weekend, and that's it. Doors closed. It's six lecture series on the recipe for reality and how to step into your power. So if you are ready, we're saying this is a divine appointment. In other words, your guide should be telling you and bugging you to get it. That means you're meant to be there. Come on down. I'm not going to record it. I'm not going to do it again this year. And the universe is going to change really quickly after this fall. Check out lightcastbootcamp.com for more information. And it's Tuesday. we got my alter ego out there today, Just Ask Chris, answering your questions from Soul Nirvana. If you want to dive deep in astrology or deep into someone else's drama, check me out. It's Just Ask Chris, and it's live everywhere the garden is blooming. All right, Gemini, that's all we have for today, but I will see you tomorrow. Until then, live, love, be. So